Part of what makes a great show is a great cast. Throughout the seasons, you get to know the characters, understand who they are. Heck, they almost become a part of the family. So when one character leaves the show and is replaced by another, the new character can be difficult to accept. Replacing characters after several seasons is a tricky business. After all, the character being replaced earned the admiration of the fan base and became a vital part of the show. So was the case with Jadzia Dax on Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Throughout six seasons, we saw Jadzia, a trail science officer with several lifetimes of experience through the Dax symbiont, make friends on the station, get hit on by Dr. Bashir, struggle with her insecurities about having the symbiont, fall in love, a couple of times actually, and finally get married to Worf. So when Jadzia was killed in the finale of season six, in perhaps the most heartbreaking way possible, and was then replaced with new Dex character, Esri. Do I know you? It's me, Dex. Comparisons were inevitable. But what I want to look at today is whether or not Esri Dex is a good character. This video is, of course, an analysis of what works and what doesn't work for the character, and not a commentary on the actress herself. I thought Nicole DeBoer did a pretty decent job with the character, with what she was given, and the amount of time she had on the show. So with that, let's look into the ninth Dax host. Oh, uh, we're, we're not counting Varad Dax. Great. It'll be just like old times. Except different. So let's start with what worked for Esri as a character. One major thing that I can appreciate is that the writers didn't try to make her into another Jadzia. I think had they gone that route, the fan base would have outright rejected her. And I think that's where a lot of replacement characters in other shows fall flat. They're made to be so close to the character that they're replacing that they're almost certainly going to fail because they can't possibly live up to the original character. But that's not what happened with Esri. Esri wasn't Jadzia. In fact, she was a very different character who just happened to have Jadzia's memories. She never wanted to be joined and was only joined to save the Dax symbiont. Well, then how did you get the symbiont? It was an accident. Some accident. Whereas Jadzia worked hard to be joined, making these two distinct characters with distinct goals. Jadzia had an air of confidence, even in the early years when she would have been struggling in the back of her mind with her worthiness of having the symbiont, where Esri was still trying to figure things out and struggled. Why are you standing on your head, by the way? Emony used to do it. But While comparisons between the two Dex characters are ultimately inevitable, there's still enough differences between them. In short, Esri wasn't a Jadzia clone, and the writers didn't try to make her one. The other thing in Esri's favor is that she had her own issues that she was working through, which not only differentiated her from Jadzia, but also expanded the trill. So here the writers took an opportunity to explore what happens when a Trill host doesn't receive the proper training. Esri pretty much goes through an identity crisis. I'm not usually this emotional. It must be the Emony in me. At least I, I think it's Emony. Oh, how to keep from breaking into tears for no reason? A confused child trying to live up to a legacy left by her predecessors. You're not worthy of the name Dax. Where Jadzia didn't seem to struggle with the previous host personalities, Esri does and she barely knows who she is, but throughout the season, we see her slowly work out the personalities of the symbiont and become accustomed to being joined. Well, she kinda had to. In addition to the conflict inside of her, she also has to contend with being accepted by Jadzia's friends, and in a way, Jadzia's fans as well. You're probably asking yourself, who is this person? How did she get the symbiont? Do I even want another Dax in my life? Does she always talk this much? While Ben and Jake take to Esri easily, everyone else had to get used to another Dax on the station. He's looking at you, Worf. Having Worf and Esri working out their unresolved issues was a great opportunity for both characters to get some closure from Jadzia's death. I think this could have been done a lot better than what we got, and I am going to get to that. Of course, I think the writers could have eased Esri into the crew a little more gradually. But with the time constraints and the numerous plot lines going on in the final season, there was only so much they could have done. Now, what didn't work with Esri? Well, I think it comes down to some of Esri's arcs and the time constraint. 
If Esri had more than one season to develop, I think she could have developed into a character that could have been more widely accepted. But since season 7 was going to be the final season, that only left one season to develop a new character. Obviously, there's only so much the writers could do in that amount of time. But when it comes to the arcs Esri was given... I guess my major gripe is that she was thrown into two romantic relationships in a short amount of time. And both with men who had strong feelings for Jadzia. First, Esri and Worf had tension from the moment she walked on the station. Which makes sense considering Worf was Jadzia's husband and they were about to start a family when her untimely death occurred. But stranding them on Goralis 3 and... well... I get it, they had unresolved issues, but that was how the writers were going to resolve them? We're supposed to believe that Worf, still in grief and not knowing how to talk to Esri, would get in a shouting match with her that resulted in a makeout session? And then some? I mean, if she resembled Jedzi a little more, it would make some sense. And sure, some people on the station said she reminded them of Jedzia, probably with the mannerisms. But there were still plenty of comments that she was nothing like Jadzia. I knew Jadzia. She was vital, alive. She owned herself. And you, you don't even know who you are. For all the effort that the writers made to make Ezri into her own character separate from Jadzia, this happens. And then to make matters worse, when it doesn't work out with Worf, she's thrown into a relationship with Julian? The same Julian that pined for Jadzia for years? I mean, she entered into two relationships within the span of ten episodes, and again, both with men who had strong feelings for Jadzia. The whole thing felt very strange, and almost felt like Worf and Julian started dating Jadzia's sister. It comes across that the only real reason either of them was interested in her was because she reminded them of Jadzia and after the writers went out of their way to remind us that she isn't Jadzia. If it were up to me, say I was a writer for DS9, I wouldn't have even set Esri up with anyone for at least a season. Give her some time to develop her on her own and sort through her problems with the symbiont. And if that was going to be the last season, so be it. I'd rather have that for the character than shoehorn her into two awkward relationships. Now, all that being said, things could have gone much worse for Esri than a couple of ill-suited relationships. Just taking the way DS9 went and the way Esri developed, I thought she was pretty good for a replacement character. Of course, I, like many people, would have preferred Jadzia had been on the show for the entire run, but Esri did well enough. She was a pretty decent character for the amount of time she was given and the shoes she had to fill. Of course, this moment is unforgivable. No offense, but you're just a hologram, and I am his counselor. I outrank you. You take that back, Ezri! Take it back! So what did you think of Ezri Dax on Star Trek Deep Space Nine? Did you like her? Did you not like her? What would you have done differently with the character? Do you agree with my assessment of the character, or are there some points I missed? Please, leave a comment. As always, thanks for watching my video. And since you're already here, why not give my video a like? And if you like what you see, subscribe to my channel for even more videos. Thanks again, and until next time... Are you finished? I haven't even begun!